I'm here to talk about a topic I've taken an interest to lately that never had gotten a lot of media coverage despite how interesting it is. The I Love You Murders. There were a series of five murders which took place in a large city in Ohio throughout 1962. The first in the chain of murders took place on January 20th. A woman had been found in an alleyway in the more sketchy part of town. She had been scalped. Not a single strand of her long dark hair had been left behind. It was definitely a very odd M.O. Cause of death was determined to be a stab wound to the back that pierced right through to her heart. The only clue left to go on was a note, which was stuffed into her mouth that read, I loved her. Since there wasn't anything else to go on, it turned into a cold case. On March 3rd, the next body was found. A woman had been beaten to death and was sprawled out across an old set of railroad tracks not too far from downtown. She had been beaten to death and left very disfigured. She had definitely put up a fight in an attempt to get away. She was missing nails and her head had been slammed against the tracks several times, leaving her skull cracked. The most disturbing part of this murder is the fact that her crystal blue eyes had been gouged out while she was still alive. There was a note stuffed into her mouth that read, I loved her, just like the previous murder. In mid-July, a few teenagers had broken into an abandoned house to drink but their party had been cut short when they found the body of a woman who had been slaughtered in the back room. Her heart had been literally chiseled from her chest, which was also the cause of her death. Yet again, the now infamous note had been left in the mouth of the victim, but still no evidence to go on. Four months later, the police were starting to think the killings had finally died down. But their wishful thinking had been put to an immediate halt when the next victim had been found. Two teenagers had broken into an abandoned factory and found the body of a woman whose face had been carved off. She had also been stabbed several times in the abdomen. She had died from the blood loss. But same as always, nothing but the note was left behind. The fifth and final murder took place on December 1st. This murder wasn't like the others, though. The only things that had been left behind were two green eyeballs, red chunks of hair, a heart, the woman's face, and a note that read, I loved her. In 2007, the killer was finally found but not exactly caught. The now old man had been found dead of natural causes in his home. Months later, while his children were clearing out his house in the process to put it up on the market, they found an old wardrobe with a padlock on it. Thinking it would be filled with nothing more than guns or paperwork, they carelessly cut the lock. The three of his now fully grown children stood around in awe at what they had found. A perfectly preserved woman. Although it was more like bits and pieces sewn together to make a woman. Taped to the doors on the inside of the wardrobe were pictures that looked to be of their father in his teenage years with a gorgeous woman about the same age. She had long dark hair and bright blue eyes, just like the woman in front of them. 
but it didn't exactly look like the same woman. Some features were close, but not dead on. At closer examination, the words, I love you, were cut into her lips.